Ah, pond you can swim in. Here, bring that bucket close to me. Or hand me the fertilizer. Will it dissolve immediately or? I, I hope not. I, this is my first time using it. No problem? Okay, three of them. I just can't feel where the, there we go. I got it. Let's push this deep. It's fun being in the pond. Some are harder than others, but I can get them down in there. I don't think I even need the rocks on top anymore, do I? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't use rocks. Yeah, I only did that earlier to keep the, oh, that, that one went nice. So this lily right here, this is your purple joy. Okay. This is a viviparous lily. And what it does, viviparous meaning it forms new plants on the leaves. And that's a baby plant right there. Yep, I actually took one. And if you look just beyond it, look down below in the water, I planted mm -hmm. one. That's a purple joy? Yeah, I planted one down in there. So I'll fertilize that too and see how that goes. That is so cool. Yeah, and I was so psyched. I even took some and put them in the alligator pond to see if they'd, they'd take root. Yeah, amazing. Look at that. That's amazing. You got your three new, three more tree ferns? Oh my God, dude, you're crazy. Yeah, I'm excited, man. All right, well, let's, we got to figure out where we're going to put some of this stuff. Let's get to work. Okay. These bananas, remember me and you went to Excelsa? Yeah. I bought these in little pots for 10 bucks. And they're already that big? They're that big, isn't that awesome? What it's like hell? instant. What the hell do you do? Should we put banana plants here that'll grow up tall and kind of obscure this cage? I don't know. Like, so, I, I don't know what you're thinking. So talk to me, Goose. I could see you come here. You're looking at this. You want to obscure that a little bit. Right. So that so like, you don't necessarily know what's yeah, over there. You could put three, four bananas there. So that's a moist area. So I think the banana plants love moisture. Yeah. So they'll just shoot up and do their thing. And I think that would be really cool. You see how I, I have a plant here? We could tie this all in. Let's tie this in with this palm because again, when I'm looking back from my patio, I'll see lushness. Yeah. And then like you said, when, if I'm bringing people in, we're gonna stop here and look at some of these guys. You have the beauty of this back here. And now we're obscuring this, this fence here because the next thing you'd go, walk over and see the alligators from that viewing point. Do we want to do something here? To I would love to, yeah. Great, I think this is the too. area we should concentrate on because, yeah, just leave me uh, room that I can get in and out of this. 
I only need a small little walkway. We can utilize all this. We have another arimba here. I could pull this plant out, doesn't matter. But you know, we can move that if we had to, but this is another cool area. Some big rocks in here. I'll use the machine. I'll pull them out with the machine and unless you don't want, I don't care. I don't want you guys to have to worry. I just figured these are nice rocks. I don't want to keep them buried if we're going to plant here. We can use them to put around some of the plantings today. How about banana? Banana right here. A ban the banana here. Yeah, to go ahead, get a banana. Or well, give me take the hole. Make a hole, right? He says he'll make the hole with the machine. Well, no, give me try. For okay. maybe okay. I can bring to the turn now. See? <laughs> That's pretty hard. No, no, he'll make it with the machine. See, I have a rule. Okay. Too. No, he'll make it with the machine. Yeah. Just go get a banana. Banana. Right there? Maybe three cordy lines. Leave that one here. Black, black. Yeah, leave that there. Three cordy lines. Black, black, red. Put black, red, black. So here, let's take this, take this, mm -hmm. put it here, take you, this, put it here, and put the red in the middle. Do you block the rough for the guy? He's second, I leave the room over there. We're not gonna, we're just Let put it see. there for now. I like that, Caesar. All right. I like that. Well, how can I fix it? That no, okay. Hold? Now let's um. Here, let's take this. I'm gonna move this here, and maybe put this right here. One's one allocation. One small allocation. This allocation right here. Put it right there, right there, and a banana. I need one big banana behind. One big banana right here. One more banana. Three cordy lines, two black, one red. Where? Right here. Two black, one red right here. Kick this rock out. Can you, can you is that rock too heavy or can you roll it a couple times? <sighs> oh my goodness, Caesar, you're strong. Hey, Caesar, I asked for 10 and you brought eight. Where? There's 10. There's no 10? No, there's eight. How many do you have over there? Three. I tried. There's supposed to 10. I put two times in the, in the gold car. Okay. There's five and five. Well, how about four and four? That says not my fault. As you fall, you're rushing at me too much. This is the problem. <laughs> I rush you yeah, too much. Yeah, I rush you too much. I rush you too much. You can't count to ten. All you can count to eight. Man, I can suppose to. Okay. I can put the ten, but I forgot. It's okay. It's okay. I rush you too much. Yeah. Slow down. This is crazy. <laughs> Are you driving him crazy, man? No, I <laughs> forgot to plan for the well. I don't want anybody to be angry at my house. Uh -huh. <sighs> Ken, we went to Excelsior, remember? Yeah, yeah, I do. I bought this in a little pot. Are you? Those are the same plants we saw in Excelsior. This is the same plant we saw in Excelsior. That's incredible. I'm glad you took them because you raised them up nice, and now they're going to get in the ground. They're going to just drink up all that nutrients and water. And gosh, that's about full grown, isn't it? It, yes, yes. That's amazing. Okay. There we go. Should I get rid of all those roots? Huh? Get rid of these roots?
Good. Watch yourself, Gage. All right, all right, leave it there. Tiny bit to the left, just a little this way. Yeah. Left and over, like, like right. Oh, you cut too close. Yeah, too close yeah. to the other one. Yep. Perfect. Caesar, can you bring that just towards the corner of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Here, hold on. Jordan, hold on. Careful, Caesar. Come on, man. Nice, nice. It's pretty fun, man. In just a little while, things transform. Does this look great? Do you wanna, is this maybe okay or not? How does it look right there? Yep. Put it, put it down. That's good, okay. I like that. It's out of the way. Because I want to be able to see these alocasia. Yep. I okay. like the alocasia, okay. they're going to grow so. big. Okay, so you guys are taking a look at one of the most popular pet tortoises in the United States. It is the redfoot tortoise, and these animals are from South America. And they're a really fantastic species of tortoise because they are a highly diversified and variable species, meaning they have a very large range. They can be a forested species, they can be a species found in savanna, and even species that people in South America keep as pets. So they have a large range and they can go from hot, dry climates to hot, humid climates. But the one thing they don't like is cold climates. So these animals, the lowest I ever let them get is about 60 degrees in the winter here in Florida. I round them all up and they go into the shed where it's much nicer during those cold snaps that we get. And many of the tortoises here were given to me by people that can no longer keep them. Now, of course, they're going to get my little toes. These guys are interesting in the way that they are pretty much herbivores. But what I found out with all my tortoises is even though they are herbivores, they will snack on dead animals or worms and slugs, anything that they can catch. So every once in a while, it's not a bad idea to give them some animal protein. It helps boost their bodies. It helps give them more vitamins. So when they're out there in the wild, they come across something, they're gonna wind up uh, coming across a dead animal. They're gonna wind up eating it. I've even had, sadly, a tortoise pass away in the enclosure. The other tortoises ate them. So while I would say that they're 80 to 90% vegetarian, they will take animal matter from time to time. They are easy to care for here in the United States. Uh, they don't get huge, although I do have some large ones. Check this one out. And that, and as a matter of fact, you got to see this behemoth right here. Right over there is a big fella. He came to me from a zoo that they were raising him up. That's one of the biggest redfoots I've ever seen. Uh, I'm sure that there are some that get larger but generally they're considered a medium size to small size tortoise. And they are really fun, they're personable. They follow you around. They become like shelled puppy dogs. So they need water, fresh clean water, which you can see to your right. If you look over here, we have the Aquascape Ecosystem Pond and the waterfall provides them with a really nice, cool drinking area. And then perhaps if you go underneath here, you can actually see some of them soaking right now in their little cave. So these guys love fresh water. They soak in it, they drink it, they enjoy it. And then a varied diet, which is very important. 
as I mentioned. Now, get this guys, here is a dead fish. Who do you think ate that? The fish came over the waterfall and the tortoises got it. So they'll nibble on fish, they make use of anything that is unlucky enough to croak inside this enclosure. So it's pretty interesting. Other than that, you can plant hibiscus flowers. They love those. Different grasses they'll eat and shelter under. Um, they are pretty much a wide variety of foods. So awesome animals. I think they're one of my favorite tortoises. And here we have 40 of them. Let's go show you where they must be. There's a bunch hiding in here, but if I know them, during the hottest part of the day, they come on into the cooler shed. Oh yeah, there's a few in here. Have a look at this. The lighting might not be great, but it's definitely a cool place for these guys and girls to hang out in. So that's the Redfoot tortoise, one of the best and most popular tortoises in the pet trade. We will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe.